Claire Avi just stop. And anyway, Johnny, what what's that supposed to mean, the way I play? What is wrong with the way I play? Hey James, yeah, that's been a long time mate, how you doing today? Looking very entertaining. Well, glad you think so. <laughs> Are you taking the mic? <laughs> James RR90 just subscribed using Amazon Prime. Thank you for your support. I'm doing oh. fine. How about you? Well, thank you for the uh, the sub there, mate. Or the resub, should I say? Yeah, I'm doing great, mate. Thank you. I'll be glad when this lockdown's over and we can go and do other stuff instead of just staying around in the house. But apart from that, be fine. Has the lockdown been treating you? Uh, I've had the f I've had the first uh, the first shot already. And it's uh, two weeks ago now. And I've got my appointment for the second one. Uh, about May the 18th. Something like that. Try, try, try. Back to playing farm sim all day. <laughs> what map you playing on, mate? Northern Coast. Oh, okay, okay. Nice map, though. You ever played this map? Little Norton. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice map, really nice looking map. I've been playing it for a few weeks now. I'm enjoying it. But the north, northern coast is that that's Ireland, isn't it? Is it an Irish map? Uh, what's been happening with the stream? I've been going any big news? Mm, not really, mate. No, <laughs> same old, same old.
uh, Northern Ireland. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was. Are you using precision farming as well? Or have you not used, been using that? I'm still trying to get my head around it a little bit. It's a bit confusing at times. I haven't tried it. It's it's good. It's a bit of a pain, but you know, it's okay. to rust like a few uh, 430 hours in two months rust rust oh is that that that's that survival survival game isn't it yeah 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 not not my type of game I'm not into survival games I like things at a slower pace. <laughs> Life's too short to rush around. 130.3 hours past two weeks. Okay. So you're enjoying it then? Right, I think this is like refill number eight or nine. So it's cost me quite a bit of money in manure. But that's to do these two massive fields. It's a fun game to grind. Oh, okay. Yeah, with these survival games, you just have to go out, do a bit of hunting, uh, make sure you can you survive, eat, and maybe build a house or build something, and that's it. You just have to keep doing the same thing over and over, don't you? And if you don't, if you don't, if you don't eat, you die. <laughs> I mean, I did try playing. Uh, oh, what's it called? The Long Dark. Uh, that was all right for about two hours. And that was it. I got fed up of it. <laughs> I kept getting fed by wolves. 
and it wasn't no fun because I had nothing to protect myself with except a flashlight and wolves aren't scared of a flashlight uh, but this game is very PvP orientated as well Oh, so you haven't only got um, animals trying to eat you, you've got other people trying to kill you as well. Oh, okay, sounds just, uh, yeah. It sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> Sorry if I sound sarcastic, but... <laughs> Yeah, definitely not my type of game there. Hmm. I mean, why don't they make a game where you're just stuck on a desert island all by yourself and, you know, with so uh, a bit of land so you can farm your land and you know that's it then nobody to interrupt you nobody to try and kill you no animals to try and eat you and just you on your own on an island in the middle of nowhere You're mostly interested in the base building and defense. Uh, ooh, the electricity and the car build. Car building aspects. Okay, okay. Mm. thing is though is if it's pvp you're gonna get other people come raid your raid your buildings and then nick all your stuff ain't you <clears throat> hey bob uh you would like you would like the game where you're stuck on an island with mary and from Gilligan's Island. Uh, I've never actually watched Gilligan's Island. I know what it is. I've never actually watched it, so can't really comment. <laughs> uh, you can have a private server. Oh, okay, okay. So that way, nobody can kill you. Ah, oh, come on. You meant to start when I tell you to. There you go. Best show ever. Yeah, well... Maybe it is, but like I said, I've never watched it. <laughs> I'm not a great, uh, I'm not a big TV person, do you know what I mean? I don't really like TV that much. There's not really a lot of stuff on that I really do like to watch. Uh, how have you got the video map to show manure? That's uh, precision farming, mate. That's what precision farming does. So now we know what's wrong with it. Why? Because I don't watch TV. Or because I didn't watch Gilligan's Island. <laughs> Dawnwells by Marianne. 
Uh, just passed why recently? Oh, okay, okay. It's online. What's online? Gilligan's Island. Well, yeah, I've still got a lot of time to watch it. I have a very busy life. I mean, I, I know you just sit down watching video uh, videos and playing games all day, but I can't do that. I wish I could sometimes. Oh, let's see if we can get that orange bit that's over there. Well, no, I know, I know. I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying is I wish I had the time to do that. Turn you off, we can drive a bit faster. We've got a bit at the end to finish, haven't we? But yeah, that um, the mini map there, it's when you're seed, um, you're putting manure or fertilizer down, or when you're harvesting, it changes. That's what that's for. Oh, see, it's gone now because I've come off the field. I like that. Yes, that was funny. Right, time to get the cedar out now. the shed roots flashing at me. No, it's still set for canola anyway, which is good.
Hmm. See, getting this thing through is easy enough. Oh, wait, Dad, I'd better change the growth stage before I forget. Uh, where is it? Ah, there it is. Save it while I'm at it. Because I don't, I don't think I'm going to have time to do both of these fields today. But I don't want to uh, have one growing. I want, I want them both to grow at the same time. So when I come to harvest them, I can do them all at the same time. And I need to um, put fertilizer on them on the first growth stage as well, which I couldn't do last time. Hmm. But yeah, on this map, canola is the most valuable crop. Usually soybeans. But canola is like three, four hundred pound more per thousand litres, so that's what I'm going with. We got the seed stations around, so yeah, let's get rid of that map. No, we don't need that. Yeah, we've got all the uh, digestate to sell as well. I think it might have made better sense to put the um, the silo for the digestate uh, for the um, for the oh god what's it called the silage <laughs> couldn't think then uh, in the other field where the BGA is I could have had cosplay selling for me then but never mind Yeah, it just slipped away. Forgot what I was talking about. Never happens to me usually. <laughs> yeah, see you later, Johnny. You have a good day, mate. But saying that, I mean, I could always put another one in that field, in that grass field anyway, couldn't I? Hmm. Sell that one that we've got once it's empty and then replant the grass around it. Yeah, I don't know.
I mean, it won't take long to sell anyway because I've bought the um, conveyor belts. So they're they they are there already. I mean, that cost me like nearly fifty thousand. I think it was thirty-eight for the big one and um, twelve for the smaller one. I think. <clears throat> but once I cut them two grass fields again, before I do, I will put course play on um, a leveling course to uh, get it levelling for me. I can put it on the uh, the JCB, I think. A little leveller. Because they're all they're all ready now. Uh, they've been fully fertilised. I think I think they're actually ready to harvest. Well, it calls it ready to harvest, but ready to cut. <laughs> the music stopped. It does, hasn't it? music stop nobody told me <laughs> Yeah, my uh, my OBS keeps playing up. Keeps on giving me silly little messages. I don't know what's going on with it. You got me a bit there. Yes, I did. Last night it told me my stream wasn't working, even though it was working fine. Might be a glitch in the uh, in the matrix or something. Neo's after it. I can't hear it in my headset. I I can only see if it's working by the name of the song going across the bottom of the screen. So if it stops in future, can somebody let me know please so I can start it back up? That's if you want to listen to it, of course. No, I'm going to go across this field, I think, not up and down. <laughs> oh, 
Remember, I need to do an auto. Actually, I'll do that now. Yeah. It didn't give me an offset. That's gone wrong. Yeah, I'm trying to line it up with the bit over there so I don't have to worry about doing that or going back and doing it. Hopefully I'll get it. Ah, uh, no, it looks like I'm just going to miss. This bit should be fine, but the end of the, at the other end, I'm just going to miss by the looks of it. Never mind. <clears throat> as long as it all gets done, it doesn't really matter, does it? I don't know how, but somehow I managed to miss my mouth. Side up. Yeah, I bought them um, the, them little seed huts and fertilizer huts. There, I put one by these two fields for when I put them together. Uh, and one by the other big field I've just done thinking that um, it's going to take a lot to seed them but it's actually not taking as just not as expecting I mean this I've, I've filled this uh, seeder up once one time and I managed to do this entire field and it's still on the same refill from what I've done now. But I think that's because it's canola. If it was something else, it would probably take a lot more seed. I think I'm going to have to wait till the first growth stage to, uh, what's it, 14%? Oh, that's there, that's the weight, that's okay. The weight is in red condition. Um, I think I'm going to have to wait till the first growth stage before I can uh, fertilise. I think. But I will try it after it's been seeded. Well, after both of them have been seeded. <laughs> I 
<clears throat> and we still have some um, canola in storage. Well, we've got quite a bit of crop in storage, I think. Uh, yeah, we've got 17,000 wheat. 16 barley, 14 soybeans, 23 canola, 35 sunflowers. Oh no, that's not soybeans, that's oats. What am I talking about? That's soybeans. Oh, what a bonehead. <laughs> Guess what I've done? You know when I was checking the prices earlier, I was thinking this was soybeans. That's why I was comparing these prices to these prices. But they're the soybeans. Yeah, so the soybeans are up the soybeans are a better price. I thought there was something weird there. <laughs> oh well. Never mind, eh? Yeah, I can't believe I made that mistake. But now I know soybeans are the better price. Not canola. I might do that field in soybeans then. Because Using precision farming, um, when you put soybeans in, when you harvest them, it actually puts nutrients back into the ground. And see, earlier when I was there, when I was on that page and I was saying, oh yeah, this is the price of the soybeans and this is the price of the canola, nobody, nobody told me. Nobody told me I was I was comparing the prices to oats. So thanks for that. <laughs> now, I can't believe I did that. I mean, they look completely different as well for the start. It just shows how bad my eyesight is sometimes. But yeah, I'm definitely going to put soybeans in the other, in that next field. Oh dear! What a bonehead, eh? That's a rookie mistake, that is, isn't it? Or a, or a brummy mistake. <laughs> oh dear. But at least now I know that soybeans are the better price than canola and oats.
Well, I won't make that mistake again. That's for sure. Down it the tree, down it the tree, down it the tree. Thank you. Yeah, so I could have been putting soybeans in this, but never mind. It's done now. I could change over and do soybeans. <laughs> That'd be interesting. One row, one strip of soybeans and one strip of canola. Every other strip. That'd make interesting harvest time, wouldn't it? Shouldn't take much longer to do this. Six more rows, maybe. Tomorrow I'll be doing so. I won't be on here tomorrow anyway. I'll be doing some trucking tomorrow. Looking forward to the new update on ATS and ETS. Apparently, the um, there's new lighting system or something. So that should be interesting. As long as it's not like the last uh, lighting update they did, where a lot of people couldn't play because it uh, it messes up their FPS or something, so you have to disable it in the is it F F S F X file or C F X file or something. Whatever the file format is for ITS and ETS. shouldn't be much longer now I mean it's been out on beta now for quite a while since before Christmas I think so it should be out anytime soon I and mean, Portia was saying last night that she thinks maybe this week or next week so if it is this week then I probably won't be able to apply my coast to coast because that's going to need uh, updating as well. Unless it's already been updated for the 1.4. Oh, don't do this to me, you. See what I mean about it? crashing sometimes? It locks up, so you have to activate it and then deactivate it again. And then it works. But I will check for the new um, coast to coast. See if there's been an update for it.
from insane that if it's uh, if I can't play the coast to coast I can just do some uh, base game stuff check out the base game see what that's all about if it's been updated I mean I still have trouble with my ETS, I can't play that at all. Not well, I say I can't play it at all. I can't play it for very long. Because for some reason after about 10 minutes it just crashes. So I don't know. And I've tried disabling the uh, the lighting stuff in the file but it doesn't seem to make a difference. So I don't know. But one day I'll get it working. Yeah, and I didn't miss my mouth that time. I missed a bit right at the end there, didn't I can see it just flashing at me. Just there. Yeah, a little tiny bit there as well. But I'll get that when I finish this next row. I should really save this course as something else, shouldn't I? In fact, I will, before I forget, I will save it and because then I haven't got to keep on uh, getting the auto with them worrying about uh, whether it's the right width or not. There we go. <coughs> Should have done that before, but never got around to it. And I can use it on that little field over there as well, so. But yeah, doing this field twice. Um, with canola, I used uh, just over half of the the cedar. That's not too bad, is it? And we'll see with the uh, soybeans if the the amount goes down quick again. Actually, with canola, it doesn't go down very quick at all. Unless that's down to the precision farming, I don't know. It may well be.
This bit and a little tiny bit to go now, and that's it. Down soybeans, we've got oh, wrong button. There we go. <coughs> Before I forget the next time. Because I'm not doing this one now. Do this the next time. So, table that. Turn off that. And that's going to be me for today, boys. <coughs> oh dear. Right. I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody for watching. Uh, yeah, and I can't believe I got um, soybeans and oats mixed up. <laughs> but I did. <laughs> can I say? Um, so, like I said, tomorrow it'll be ATS. Oh, unless I can get ETS working. Maybe the, if it's updated tomorrow, maybe that'll fix my issue. I don't know. But um, we'll have to wait and see. But, yeah, I just want to say you thank you to everybody for watching. And I uh, hope you all had a good time. Uh, so you all take care, you all enjoy the rest of your day, you all stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye everybody.